What up everybody, can be the back again with some more World of Tanks and this is uh, the, the ARL V39 match that I uh, I uh, brought up to you yesterday. I'm in the record uh, in the replay file system, I mean to say. And starting off on this map, uh, uh, with the tank destroyer I like to come up here to this bush and uh, try to get some shots on people who try to uh, run to this spotting rock over there to the right. This KB-85 kind of with the 122 millimeter should be using the 100 millimeter, dumbass. Uh, really fucks up my aim, pushes, starts to push me, and since the new system is heavy, I thought this was going to start off bad because I, I don't know how that didn't hit him. So I was like, no, no, and then he got in there, and I was like, oh, it's going to be one of those matches. But, uh, uh, this KB-85, he starts with the new system where you can, uh, uh, you can use your weight and stuff. There's more, more of the physics behind your, the weight of the vehicle. He starts pushing me here, and, uh, it just, I thought it was just a debacle. He's a KB-85, top-tier heavy tank behind me sniping where this this uh, uh, a binox and camo nights up uh, uh, sniping where the tank destroyers are supposed to be get that being said right there this you're seeing what I'm what I would see I left click this is a free camera this is what I'm doing oh, I look around and see he's gone it's like okay uh, I'm using by bi uh, binocular uh, the Binox, the Caminet, and the uh, Repair. Uh, I can't remember what they're called. The, um, these things down here. Binocular Telescope, Camouflage Net, and the, the Repair shit that helps repair your stuff faster. So, uh, he finally moves over there. There's a KB-1 off to the left flank. Uh, and the KB-2, or bad one, the KB-85 is moving. The Toaster... Waffle Strudel uh, uh, tank destroyers going over there to the left flank as well. And then I finally, I was like, nope, I just was determined to hit this guy. And I finally hit him. Uh, and the T-14 comes up, shoots him. And then this is when it just, it starts going. It was a slow match until this point here. Uh, I figured the, the, the heavies are going to battle over there to the left. They're going to hold off. I need to get a few shots here because we pushed off to the right. I'll stay there. There, boom, good hit. 295. This does. I, I keep the the hundred millimeter. Uh, has a less penetration, less accuracy. 300 damage instead of the uh, 100. And, oh, boom! Killing shot on the the uh, the. Uh, Hellcat, and then I start to realize, no, we're gonna lose that left flank. I'm gonna have to go. I'm not gonna push to the right. Nope. See, I start thinking I'm gonna push right. I'm like, nope. Left side is where it's gonna go. And this Matilda co comes into play. The uh, Blind Pirate One. He is gonna be a big help to me. And it looks like yeah, he's got the Top Gun on the, uh, the Matilda. So I'm gonna set up in an ambush position where I can fire. And if I get spotted, hopefully I don't get spotted firing. I'll be far enough back. People in front of me will scout. Uh, and if not, I can just pull back behind the sill. I'm going to use this AT-8 as my eyes. But since he's going to be, can get outmaneuvered very quickly in this Cromwell, I'm going to focus on this Cromwell first. So nobody's coming down that left side. I thought they were going to be coming down this way. That little alley. And then I see the KV-1. I'm waiting for him to kind of even out. Nope. And then I prioritize the Cromwell. Good hit on the Cromwell. I need to move. I thought I wasn't spotted. Nope. KB-1 spots me. Take two hits. I thought I was going to take a third. Ooh. Almost did. And I don't want this the AT-8 to get outflanked. And if he gets outflanked, he's going to turn this up to KB-1. I can't have that. I'll come over the top. Oh, the top. And got lucky with that shot. Uh, and the 105 millimeter. I can't remember... The top gun on this has 212 millimeters penetration, uh, 100, 240 damage, something like that. But I always feel like 
th even though this, this gun's more less accurate, 300 damage is more useful, and it doesn't seem it's as not as accurate. It, I feel like the the top gun, even though it's more accurate, is less accurate. I don't know why. I was gonna get good shots in this T150. No shots on this KV2 coming around the side. All right, KV1 takes a big hit, and then I realized, okay, I'm gonna wait for this KV2 to hit. If he doesn't come over the top, over the top, by that mountain, I'm not going to fire. I'm going to wait for the KV-2 to fire, and then I'm going to push up and shoot him in his turret. And then, no, he's turning the turret. I'm shooting right in the hole. 320 damage. Perfect. There's that. Right here, the Matilda comes into play. Hear that gun firing quickly? That's the Matilda. He's, oh, with one shot kill, he ends up taking out the KV-2. That was crucial because now I could focus on this K KV-1 he's going to try to outflank the AT-8 we, uh, the if people on the right have pushed up oh, stop right in front of my gun you die uh, the Cheeto on the right has pushed but they have been pushed back by the Artie and I think there's the tank destroyer back there the T-40 no the T-40 is on this side uh, maybe the Chappie over there yeah the Chappie they push back our uh... nope there's the T-40 that was right. So, the T-40, the Chaffee, and the artillery have pushed back our right flank, which has outflanked uh, at the beginning of the match, or halfway through the match. So now I'm waiting for this T-150 to come uh, out, and I realize with those bushes, he's probably going to see me before I get a chance to see him, even though T-150 has bad eye, bad eyesight, bad uh, viewing range. AT-8, and I realize... With the AT-8 there, T-150 is going to back up. i got to go over that mountain. I'm not going to be able to get a shot on. AT-8 or T-150 is going to be able to pop out and shoot the that Capola on the AT-8. I need to get over here and save the AT-8. And one shot. Oh, and then I realized. Oh, no. I couldn't get it over here in time. I was a little too slow. And then I, I'm hoping I'm not within 50 meters. Because then he would have seen me. Good shots. They, they, the Matilda got this guy's attention. I come around. Turret. I was going to shoot the back. The engine. Oh, got to move because I already uh, moving the... Uh, to get the engine shot. But as he's turning, I was afraid it was going to bounce. So, side of the turret. Flat and angled. Yep. Time to take him out. Chaffee now makes a run towards our Artie. We got two Artie. The Spur Panzer. And the M41 HMC. I'm determined to at least save the M41. The Spur Panzer, I think. Drei. Eins. Drei. Yeah, Drei. Uh, two in German. I thought he was going to get taken out. The Chaffee was going to get him. I don't know why the Chaffee pulled back. Maybe he was trying to spot him for his arty. SOS. I say affirmative. I'm coming to help. There's the T1. The T40. And the Chaffee. So I see the Chaffee. I gotta take the T40. I gotta get this gun out of my flank. Now, do I do I have a shot? Oh, I take a hit. That was probably the T40. I get a killing hit on the T40. Spur Panzer, die. Uh, takes it. Oh, that's a bad hit. I had to use my repair kit. I'm just trying not to get outflanked. I have the, the Matilda behind me. Uh, I didn't realize at the time Matilda behind me. He could have been able to make sure I wasn't out flank. I looked for the Matilda. He's on the other side of that mountain though. So I'm thinking maybe if he has his gun in play, maybe if he doesn't. I'm trying to spot for the Artie. He's like, alright, we're disengaged. I'm going to come again. I'm going to use the tactic of going over this mountain and try to get a sneaky shot on this uh, Chaffee. Now me and this Chaffee, look at that. Both have the same idea. We're going to disengage and re-engage in a different position. I don't know if he didn't know if I didn't spot him or not. But if he... I spotted him. Stop in front of my gun. 285. I'm going to take a hit. I know I'm going to take a hit. And then he fires and re and bounces. And I do not. Artillery's raining, raining down on me. I know i got to move. I'm zigzagging. I'm serpentining trying to make sure I don't get hit by Artie and then I take this turn oh ho, ho. boy that was close now it's all down to Artie I'm pretty sure as I'm coming uh, going towards the base 
I'm pretty sure the Artie. I said, let's go, Matilda. There's the replay bug. I guess it doubles up what I type. Uh, so the Matilda is pushing through the, the road here uh, in the middle of the map. I'm coming. I'm going to go wide. And this <laughs> uh, infected. Oh, I spot the priest. I get stuck on the rocks. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, I got that Capola shot. Boom. He said, I've never seen the ARL do this well. I told him, thanks. I try. I, I tell my my uh, teammates, uh, five minutes left. This word. Ooh. Ooh. And right there, that wasn't high explosive. I think the SU-5 is uh, thanks I try. I told the person to that. I've never seen the ARL V-39 do this well. Seven kills so far. Uh... The SU-5, I think, is firing armor-piercing. You'll understand why later. If he w hadn't been th shooting armor-piercing, maybe been a different end to this match. So I'm going to go wide until there's going through the middle and hopefully be able to outflank these guys. They're hoping I was going to push through the middle, and I think they have worse uh, view range than I do. So, especially Team Story. So I'm gonna, with Binox, I'm going to set up ambush, let Binox go up and try to uh, spot these guys. Oh, oh, I take a hit. I'm one shot. I'm okay. I can take my time. These guys have fired. I know he's got a pretty quick reload. SU-5 hits and bounces! And then the Matilda gets the killing hit on the SU-5. I can't, couldn't believe I didn't die right there. The SU-5 was firing armored piercing. At a tier 4, maybe you didn't realize to use high explosive. I was kind of screwing up early days in Artie. But, uh, whew, boy, my hands were shaking at the end of this match. As you'll probably understand, I think I say it again when I pre-recorded the end of the battle screen results. So, take it away. Alright, so I'm probably going to show the, uh, the replay before this, but... One of the best games I've had in a while. The absolute best game for sure I've had in the ARL V39. Somebody actually commented that this was the best that they've seen. I guess you can see it in the replay. The best they've seen uh, an ARL V39 do. And I said thanks. And uh, uh, Master Badge. Uh, and uh, this is new after the 9.5 update or whatever. And oh boy was it. My hands are still kind of shaking. It's a times three. Uh, 27,701 damage. 1,212 experience. 14 shots. I guess that was a, probably a track or something. Fuel, engine, track. Yeah, there's the track. The chaffee. 178. A lot of killing blows. And because of that, I got the uh, the Reaper. Seasons don't fear the Reaper, but you should fear the can be dip. Yes, you should. The new record, Mastery Badge, Reaper, Fire for Effect, Master Gunner, Duelist, Hand of God, Survive and Win the Battle Having Received. And I took a, a shot at the end that bounced, I don't know how, from the SU-70, the SU, what was he? Uh, the SU-5. I guess he was firing armor piercing or something. I don't know. Uh, Radley Walters. Destroy eight or nine enemy vehicles in one battle. My first Radley Walters. My, I, I got it before with the, the uh, M37. Uh, but it was tier 4. Uh, Artie, so it didn't count. High caliber. Top gun. Oh, awesome. And actually, let me see. We do awards, vehicles, uh, most destroyed in the battle. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, the M37 was the best. So VK 
31H is still the best game, but that's right behind it. So, good good way to end uh, getting close to the ARL V39, so I should show you the replay. Whew, that was awesome. My hands are still shaking from it. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. This episode brought to you by JavaWhacked.com, the official sponsor of the Can Bean Dip YouTube channel.